Hello and welcome to our first tutorial on how to use the music pit asset and how to use the animation controller in order to make your animations audio responsive. In this tutorial we will be I will be showing you how to first of all use the prefab that we already have in the asset uh, for you to use it, how to implement it and how to add different animations to each actor in your scene. And then I will show you how to add a completely different model and make it respond to the audio. So let's start. Well, here we have the normal demo, demo scene that comes with our asset. As you can see, this is the files that come with our asset. And if we go to prefabs, we can find our dancing bot asset prefab. So uh, to make this uh, responsive to the audio, we just have to drag it into the scene. This one is a bit small, so I'll make it a, a little bigger. Let's make it no, three times is too much. Two times bigger. I'll rotate it so this guy is facing us, and I'll make him a bit. Well, here I'll make him touch the floor. That's okay. So uh, now we have this this prefab in the scene, but if we hit play. So we shake, see the sparks you throw by. As you can see, the character only stands in his idle animation. This is because there's no audio that he's responding to. We have this other prefab that is called audio controller that is the source of the audio for our other prefabs. So in order to, to make this guy respond to the audio, we will have to uh, tell him that he has to respond to the audio controller that it's in the scene. I'll make him this band frequency um, refers to the uh, pitch that it will respond to. If it's in 0, it will respond to the lowest values, and if it's in 15, it will respond to the highest values. There are diff uh, 16 different bands in here, so I'll make, I'll make him respond to the band number 2, which will make him uh, respond to the same band that this cube uh, responds. So I'll, I'll take him a bit. Uh, closer to this cube so we can see him uh, respond at the same time. So let's see how this goes. Let this uh, thing try. So cliche, see the sparks you throw my way. I'll mute the audio so I can talk through this, but as you can see, when this cube uh, gets a big input from the music, the character changes his pose to start dancing in another one. I'll, I'll play the music a little bit so you can appreciate it more. Well, so uh, as you could see, it responded to the lowest values when the bass of the song hit. But uh, and and with this you can make a lot of uh, add a lot of characters to your scene and make them respond to different values. So let's make this guy respond to the sixth frequency band and this guy to the thirteenth. That's right. So let's see how they they dance. Oh, the Well, so uh, what happens if I have my own model and I want him to respond to the audio? Well, and to make this, uh, to show you how to do this, I have this Garth, model Garth, uh, downloaded from Mixamo with uh, three different animations, right? 
so I'll same process I'll make him turn I think I'll leave him in this um, in this scale and I'll make this guy respond to the same band uh, than that one so uh, what does this guy needs to dance this uh, he needs two things first an animator controller and then the character anim control this this script comes with our asset music bit. so I'll add it and as you can see it's the same script that comes with this blue guy um, and well let's say that he will respond to the audio controller that it's in the scene and make him the same uh, animation controller that this guy uh, uses he uses the, the dancing character controller this one is the newest uh, animation controller that we have for the asset and works best with this this guy the other one is for our previous 2d character that it's no longer in the asset so let's add it and let's see what happens if I hit play so we well, as you can clearly see, uh, he does nothing. So, uh, what is the matter? The thing is that this character, this animation controller, if we enter uh, its editor, we can see that the animations that uh, this one, the motions that the animator responds to are the ones from the mannequin not the guard so how do we change them if i change them here i'll make uh useless the other guys and i don't want that i want that the blue guys can dance and that this guy can dance well unity has a pretty solid um answer to this so what do we have to do i'll go to the guard uh, file that i have here to in order to keep this um, or in order and I'll create an animation controller but an animator override controller I'll call this the Garth uh, anim controller anim controller and I'll make this one respond to our current dancing character controller what does this do uh, let's say that this one um, is like the child from our previous animator controller and as you can see it will ask me for two new animations that it will replace it has the same structure as this animator but with different motions all right so i'll change the idle for uh for my idle that i already have for this guard and i'll give him the male dancing pose oh, the male dance pose and now make this guy not no longer respond to the dancing character controller but to the garth anim controller so if i hit play so we shake see the spot you throw my way okay this guy as you can see it's already responding but uh, the band frequency is not the same one as the blue guy and his threshold is very low so he'll respond always and I'll put him in the same threshold as the guy behind him and we can see how this will work so we shake see the spot you throw my way I know your name is Rick So as you can see they are dancing um, at the same rhythm at the same time but with different animations and different models and let's say that I want uh, another guard here but also with different animations uh, well what I have to do I would have to duplicate my guard animation controller this one is the copy I'll call this uh, second one zero two and 
the one that is the zero two I'll change the the motion for the silly dance. So he'll take another pose and well let's 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 make him have the same parameters in here so you can see how they change their animations at the same time they they move differently but at the same time so we mm, okay something ah, i didn't change the garth anim controller here it's still responding to the normal one so i'll make him respond to the to the copy that has the different animation. Well, let's see. So we shake, we see the sparks you throw my way. I know your name is written on everyone's mind. Your and as you can see, these three guys are dancing in the same uh, rhythm, same perfectly. Uh, balance but with different animations and with different models so with this tool you can make a lot of um, sequences for your menus for your characters and a lot of uh, fun stuff so you can make a, a more attractive game i hope you like it and obviously if you get to this part of the tutorial it's because you, uh, mostly you have uh, downloaded the asset so here in coyote studios we are very uh, happy that you did this and we're very grateful with you and if you haven't uh, downloaded it uh, please do it uh, we would love to uh, you to do it and we would love your feedback if you have any questions you can um, mail us at the mail that it's now in on screen and that's everything uh, thanks for watching